Okay, begin. The simulator room is really important because I believe that very often police work doesn't happen in pristine conditions. It happens in adverse conditions. The simulator room forces them to make judgments when they're very uncomfortable, when they're under a high degree of stress, and when it seems like everything's working against them, even the environment. The surface is slippery, they have to deal with fences, they gotta roll in the water, they gotta be in a narrow hallway where they can't move left or right, and yet at some point they might get caught, and often do get caught in a crossfire. Uh, once again, it emphasizes the advantage of body movement. It also forces them, because of the conditions, to use not only their eyes, but their ears, and to constantly scan. A lot of officers get glued in on where they perceive a threat to be, and they forget to scan. One thing there is out there is there's targets that actually move. There's targets that come towards them. There's also targets they can hear, targets they can't hear. There's also targets that they can get a clean shot at and targets that are on funny little angles. Uh, also, there's targets they have to shoot at on a very flimsy surface, a surface that keeps moving. Uh, there's targets that they have to, as they're getting up, sometimes shoot at. There are uh, targets that they can hardly see and get a good look at whether it's a good guy target or a bad guy target. Uh, plus, there's certain things that's very hard to pick up, like their senses of taste and smell are also being interfered with through the fog, because that's kind of a stenchy fog. Or, and it could just as easily be smoke in a real life conditions. And a lot of people, I've seen officers uh, do things uh, that are tactically wrong just because rain was hitting them in the back. So they never turned around to look behind them because they didn't want to turn their face into the rain. I've seen officers have their collars up so high because of the rain that they cut off their own peripheral vision, even in life-threatening situations. So we have to teach them that, you know, they still have to do what they have to do despite the environment. And they have to remember what their goals are no matter what the environment is.